I want to go back to Canberra now, catch up with Liberal Senator Sarah Henderson up from Victoria. Good to talk to you again, Sarah. I don't know how much of that interview you managed to catch, uh, uh, Stephen Schwartz, who, uh, who, who was published in The Australian today. But are you hopeful that once we get all the vulnerable in our communities vaccinated, especially the elderly, of course, that we will see a more practical approach from premiers like the premier of your state, uh, Daniel Andrews, and, uh, and um, of course, Mark McGowan in the West and Stephen Marshall, the Liberal in South Australia, has been just as sort of authoritarian? Well, Chris, good afternoon. And obviously, this is a great day for Australia as the vaccine is being rolled out to the most vulnerable of Australians as you've spoken about, including aged care residents and aged care workers and our frontline health workers. And that is very much the government's focus. Uh, we want to see as many Australians as possible uh, take the vaccine, uh, and that is our priority, Chris. Yeah, but we've all been frustrated. Well, some haven't, I suppose, but a lot of us have, a lot of us have been frustrated. And, and you, get the, uh, you get the impression, certainly from the Prime Minister and the Chief Medical Office nationally, they've been frustrated of the elimination approach of some of the straight state premiers. Shouldn't Canberra, through the National Cabinet, be looking to get some undertakings from the states? That is, once you've got all your vulnerable vaccinated, you know, we need to see some guarantees about the lack of imposition and impediments on your communities and the, and the willingness to keep state borders open. Well, Chris, we have spoken many times about the lockdowns, particularly in Victoria, and there is no doubt that that caused incredible hardship and we know how it all happened, the shocking breakdown in hotel quarantine, and we've now seen some more recent issues with hotel quarantine in Victoria. Uh, certainly, uh, we do want to see more consistency. We want to see our economy stay open. Uh, but, of course, uh, we are seeing uh, enormous uh, leaps and bounds with our economic recovery, and that's fantastic news for all Australians. Another 29,000 jobs created in January, 93% of all people who lost their job are now back at work. So we are making some very significant strides. And, of course, uh, the more people who are vaccinated, the less rationale there will be to put uh, certain communities or states in lockdown uh, because we certainly know the economic damage that causes, we know the mental health damage that causes. Uh, and so we obviously, as I say today, please go out and get vaccinated. This is a very safe and effective vaccine and it will ensure that Australia and Australians go from strength to strength.